Hi, I'm Sven Hosford. Uh, today at St. Clair, we're going to be talking with Joe March Asani. He is the new yoga teacher here. Uh, what day are you teaching yoga? Uh, right now on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays. Okay, yes. what time is that? Uh, it's at 11 o'clock. Okay. Now, i got to say, you have one of the most ex interesting uh, entryways into yoga that I've ever <laughs> heard of. So, okay. uh, you're, you're obviously a little more seasoned of a citizen uh, than mm -hmm. some of the people walking around here. You're yes. a Vietnam veteran. I am. My tour was actually not as awful as I thought it was going to be when I realized I was going over as a medic because medics always seem like prime targets. But um, because I did have a, a master's degree in English at that point, um, I ended up in the information unit for the, the cavalry, which meant I was working on publications mm -hmm. that they produced to you know, kind of promote themselves. And uh, those publications were not published in Vietnam. They were uh, done in, in Japan. So it turned out the day after we went into Cambodia, I was actually able to get to Japan. And mm -hmm. I spent most of the time that my fellow troopers were in mm -hmm. Cambodia, you know, working on, on some of these other publications. So did you have any real traumatic well, combat experience? There, well, we got rocketed a couple times at our, our base. Um, there were some people that I knew who were killed. Um, but after the Cambodian invasion, which was more than half of my tour, um, they moved us away from the border. And from that point on, it was relatively quiet. At the same time, um, I knew I was in a situation where there were lots of people out there who wanted to kill me. <laughs> and it can be a little traumatic. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you sort but of... That's like the people, uh, even in town, or little kids. I mean, right. People you you never line, knew. Right. Don't know the, all the stories about right. kids walking up with hand grenades right. and all right. sorts of awful yeah. things. I mean, things that, you know, terrorists have since learned to do sure. elsewhere. So but, you're in a constant state of fight or flight, basically. Right. Right, which is a good definition of trauma. Yeah. Um, I did not come back with a diagnosis of PTSD, um, but I remember about five years, I guess, after I got, um, got back to the States, had finished my degree, and um, Newsweek came out with an article, and they were talking about um, troops who had come back from Vietnam and the difficulties that they were having, and they tracked one particular um, group uh, through that. And as I was reading that, I just found myself breaking down. Mm. Um, I had no idea at the time where that came from. I realize now mm -hmm. it was a, you know, a, an after effect of the stress. And uh, I wrote Newsweek a letter saying that, you know, that's what, what had happened and that I appreciated their um, putting that, that article out. And um, they published it. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Now a lot of uh, a lot of the vets, uh, people who have had traumas, they mm -hmm. they describe how the this you know especially scenes of vivid uh, vivid right. experiences repeat right. themselves over and over like right. a movie, and you're stuck in that right. in that past. Is right. that kind of what happened to you, or how how did it manifest? For you? Um, I I tended, I think that that is what happened, but I tended to really repress the conscious awareness of the way that um, trauma is stored. I mean, I, I think what happened with me with, with trauma was that um, the fight or flight reaction is operating at a fairly high level. And when the conditions prompting that uh, are unrelieved or, or become chronic, it just overwhelms um, the whole, you know, uh, sympathetic right. nervous system, the, all the other things that are, are operating in our brain. Well, this, we really want to get to this because yeah. this is really the key thing that you've discovered yeah. how yoga unlocks right. that. Right, right, right. So tell us exactly. about that process. How okay. does that work? Well, um, this, the responses that the body has to uh, that kind of uh, stress or, or fear or uh, whatever the, the challenge may be, um, gets locked in at a fairly high level. And even though it's possible, it was for me, to 
place that below my conscious awareness. It wasn't something I wanted to think about because I knew that was going to be painful. What would happen would be some other event, experience uh, that I would have, which was only remotely related to the direct experience itself, um, would occur. And my reaction would be disproportionate mm -hmm. to what that, that mm -hmm. stimulus would be. So it's kind of like this, these repressed uh, emotions, mm -hmm. thoughts, this mm -hmm. repeating uh, loop reel is just below the surface of your conscious thought. Right. You're actively trying to push it down. Right. And any little trigger just sets it off and right. explodes right. out of you. Yeah. Okay. The, the ability to keep that repressed is yeah. not as strong as the... Okay. The, the fear, the, the other kinds of emotions. So it's kind of like living out. in the past all the time. You know, well, you know, right? or it's, it's the past it, yeah. Is right there. Right the, the, the past is never the past yeah. in that sense. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And the other thing I think that, that happens with it, um, because I really see that inscribed in not just the, the sympathetic nervous system and the brain and those kinds of things, but I think it actually gets stored even in our muscles, um, the way our, our body and our organs are, are operating. So it has all kinds of, effect, of effects in terms of digestion. It has all kinds of effects in, in terms of how we sleep. Anything that, um, you know, would ordinarily have a, a regulating system, an autonomic system to, to keep it functioning, is now impaired. The, the yoga has had a wonderful effect on, on the working the, the recovery process as well. But prior to that, I, w I would have been in complete denial, um, unable to assess um, how I was interacting with people, um, unable to really um, gain a, a, a kind of awareness um, of my body, there's kind of dissociation that takes place. Um, and so going through the yoga, becoming aware of that is a kind of awakening. And because yoga works on both the physical, mental, and, and spiritual levels, um, it became much more evident to me that what I was feeling physically was linked very powerfully with how I was thinking, how I was feeling. Um, and there's a whole, obviously a whole set of, of um, yoga texts that talk about those, those kinds of links mm -hmm. and, and a whole form of holistic medicine mm -hmm. that, that goes with it. The key thing that. though, I think, is that mm -hmm. you, it seems like the yoga allowed you to live in the present moment. Mm -hmm. That takes you out of the denial. Right. That gets you facing the issues that are simply right. below the surface. Right. That gets you out of the past. Right. And into the present moment. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, because once once that awareness of being in the present comes into play, and and you know we start every practice session saying basically we're not. Back carrying in whatever was going on before we started the class. We're not really worrying about what might be happening after the class. We're just here to experience what is going on through this particular practice. And, you know, my, my sense is yoga really originates as um, a tool to build the capability for meditation. And the, the physical part of the practice is basically enabling us to look inward first at the, the body level, the somatic level, physiological, and through that recognize how that's affecting the way that we're thinking, the way that we're feeling. And um, I did get that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And that was what really propelled me, I think, into the becoming a, an instructor. Fascinating and amazing work and a, and a great story. I Thank really you. appreciate Thank you. Uh, you sharing with, yeah, with us it's, today. It's transforming for me and yeah. I would hope for people who, who would so come into the class. Thursdays? Tuesdays. Tuesdays. At 11. Tuesdays yeah. at 11 o'clock yeah. here at St. Clair. Yeah. So I'm Sven Osford. This is Joe okay. Everything. So that was a short version of this great conversation I just had with Joe. If you want to listen to the entire conversation, just visit iTunes or Stitcher and look up the St. Clair Chatterbox, or just come to our website and look into the blog area. It's a great conversation. You really want to listen to this.